Waving goodbye. A non-verbal farewell in English conversation. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be focusing on an essential aspect of English conversation, the non-verbal farewell, specifically, waving goodbye. Waving is a common, universal gesture, but let's explore how it works in the context of English-speaking cultures. A wave is a non-verbal way to express a variety of sentiments. The goodbye wave is what we'll focus on today. Typically, this involves raising your hand and moving it from side to side. It's a warm, friendly gesture to conclude your conversations and interactions. It's worth noting that there isn't any strict rule on which hand to use, but it's generally more common to wave with your dominant hand. It's important to understand that context plays a huge role in non-verbal communication. Generally, waving goodbye is appropriate in informal or casual situations, while meeting friends, saying goodbye to colleagues, or ending a casual meetup. In professional or formal situations, it's usually better to stick to verbal farewells and handshakes. However, a wave can be appropriate in these contexts as well if the environment is more laid back. There are a few different ways to wave goodbye, and they can communicate slightly different things. 1. The standard wave. A simple back-and-forth motion of the hand, signaling a friendly farewell. 2. The vigorous wave. A more enthusiastic version of the standard wave. This can indicate excitement or urgency. 3. The one-finger wave. Common in certain regions, this subdued wave can be a casual, low-effort way to acknowledge someone's departure. 4. The queen's wave. A side-to-side -side rotation of the hand or wrist, it's often seen as a more elegant or refined wave, named after Queen Elizabeth II's iconic waving style. Remember, these are not rigid rules but cultural observations. Different people, regions, and cultures might have their own nuances. And that's it. We've gone over the basics of waving goodbye in English conversation. This simple gesture is a wonderful tool to express friendliness and closure at the end of interactions. We hope this lesson helps you in your journey towards mastering English communication skills. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't shy away from using a wave the next time you're saying goodbye. Keep learning and keep practicing, and we'll see you in our next video.